Hi, so today we're going to take a look at this little LED light. Say little, it's not uh, that little. I picked this one up from Lidl's earlier today. They had a variety in there, uh, different types. Um, they're basically night lights. They've got the um, sort of LDR type sensor and your PIR motion detect sensor. And then this one's got six LEDs on it. So these will switch on um, when they detect movement at night and stay on, it says, for approximately 30 seconds. It comes with just some screws and some 3M double-sided uh, tape uh, for your choice in mounting. And you've got a little bracket on the back there, which just simply slides off like that. So these ones sell for £5.99 each, and uh, I went for the bigger one because it seemed like better value for money really. You got more lights, a bit more <laughs> to it. Some of the ones were sort of a fraction of the size like that and they were the uh, the same price at £5.99. Not quite sure what I plan to uh, do with this thing, but I thought it would be interesting to take a look at it. So that's the unit on. It's uh, obviously will work with it being down on the uh, desk there, it's getting less light. So you can see we've got our six LEDs there, and if I turn the lights off, we can give you an idea sort of what the brightness is like. That's about half a metre away, I can put it right up, right above where the camera is. That's good meter away and that's uh, yeah still plenty of of light there from that and that's kind of your you kind of pattern out you get beam angle from the LEDs so what I thought was interesting about this one is you've got the nice sort of small you know PIR there it looks nice and neat and this must be the light sensor but it's not what I was expecting. Normally you, you would get something like this. This is a standard uh, LDR, light dependent resistor, and that's what you would typically use. You'd see in one of these uh, type of lights that will detect uh, when it's dark, and then obviously that's detecting emotion. So that is certainly different. It looks to me just like a uh, standard LED, but it has got a sort of black square uh, in the middle, um, some sort of die, uh, you know, underneath the uh, LED star um, encapsulation that they've uh, got on it. So I thought we'd uh, pop it open and uh, just have a look inside. So we got six batteries, so that's going to be 1.5 volts each, that's 9 volts altogether. Uh, obviously, I very much doubt it needs all that amount of power to run it. Um, I expect that probably they're just using it for the extra capacity. So it comes with these batteries, these are Maxwell branded batteries. So that's three of them out and interesting enough they're still actually running. Uh, is the light output any different? Not really, no. So yes yeah, so that's obviously it's using three of them I'm guessing to power the uh, power the circuit so that would be uh, sort of four and a half volts and then it's using the other three just to give it that extra capacity there's nothing in the instructions on the specifications via as, as in runtime it's kind of anyone's guess as to how long it will work for on batteries some of these can be quite good some of them can be pretty appalling I would imagine this probably might not be brilliant uh, on the basis that the if it's using the typical BIS 0001 chip that these sort of things use, they generally need a voltage from around four four and a half volts, normally about four and a half volts up to I think they can run up to about twelve or fifteen volts. I've seen on some of the units like this that once the voltage drops even just a couple of volts below the four and a half volts then they they tend to um, start playing up and they would just sort of randomly turn on when they feel like it and doesn't really um, you know do what it's supposed to be doing and that's obviously an issue that's being caused by the lower voltage 
So if it is only using three of the batteries to power the thing, then that could pose a problem once the battery voltage drops down enough. Um, yeah. So, see if we can pop this apart. I'd imagine it's probably just clipped together. Let's see if I can get spudge it in. Don't particularly want to uh, ruin this one. It's reasonably nice looking light fitting. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do with it yet. <laughs> Not sure I find a use for it. So yes, yeah, so we've got various clips just holding it together. Oh, there we are. We are in. So here we've got our lenses as such. They're not actually, they haven't actually got any coating on the top, any metal or plastic lenses in. They're just a uh, sort of reflective uh, moulding really, just to, just sits over the LEDs like that and then obviously that just sits on top. So I'll pop those off. So we've got one single circuit board and uh, three LEDs there and three LEDs there and then this interesting style uh, LDR type thing. So we got from the batteries we can see the neutrals our uh, ground is, is basically just coupled together by the looks of it and then we've got our lives coming in from each of the sort of battery slots so that's why it obviously runs on three because you've got them joining in like so. They are going to, by the looks of it, different positions on the board. So I'll take a further look at that. We have got a couple diodes over here and got a few capacitors. Three capacitors on there, that's um that's interesting. And then the chip which I imagine should be the BIS triple zero one. Let's have a look. Okay, that is actually a HS0001. So that's obviously going to be based on the BSS0001, just manufactured by a different manufacturer. So I zoomed in a bit more, and as you can see there, that's the, uh, the HS0001 chip, so I'd imagine that is exactly the same as the BIS0001. And this is obviously our PIR sensor there, it's just got its little plastic cap there that has the uh, lensing system built in. And yeah, this one, I say it's interesting, it's got, you can see a sort of square die inside there, but it looks really just like a uh, LED. It's actually got the, the placement label is CD1, uh, rather than sort of LD1 or LDR uh, markings on it. So I'm not too sure what kind of system it is. I know you, you can use an LED to detect if it's light or dark. So I don't know if it's a if it is just an LED and um, or if it's something a bit more special. So we'll pop these screws out, see what's on the underside of the board. Can't imagine there be any components under there, but you certainly see where the uh, where the wiring is going. So that just lifts off and yeah there's nothing on the underside at all. So as you can see there are grounds both going in together over there and then our lives coming in from the different compartments on the uh, battery. So we got in one and in two there. They're yeah, both going into these diodes. And then they are both joined up at the other side. Oops, sorry, off camera. The other side. There, those two diodes are linked together there. And that's then going through that resistor there. So it's interesting. Yeah, the track. That track there seems to be split, so these two are not joined there at all, but they are joined when they come down to here. So yeah, I'm guessing the 
well the reason for the diodes is to stop the uh, you know any power from coming in on one half of the uh, the battery holder there uh, to back feed into the other batteries but it does seem to me like kind of I suppose it's a way of getting well no they're not really getting separate voltage are they? It must be using a regulator on it to step down the voltage. I think I might actually get my multimeter on that. Let's pop the uh, batteries back in. I'll have a look at that and see what's uh, what's going on there. Because why have why have two separate compartments that can run independently of each other rather than just have the whole lot together. So the uh, multimeter. All right, so I'm just having a look at uh, ground side on one of the ones. Doesn't matter which one because they're both together. Uh, 4.7 volts on there is to be expected and 4.6 on that side so got this resistor here so what have we got on there 4.6 4.6 volts on that I'm suspecting them to be coupled they look like they are both coupled together so quite difficult sometimes to make a good contact on this so it's a 4.86 there 4.7 there so that's the two separate uh, battery compartments coming together and then should be exactly the same the other side of the diode 4.7 uh, 4.7 on that one Okay, so we've got three volts coming out on the uh, other side of this resistor here, and then let's try again to get a good connection on that side. And that's 4.2 volts. All right, well that's interesting then. So it's it's. Once it leaves that resistor, we've got just a three volt supply powering everything. So that chip, if it is a kind of clone or copy of the BIS0001, must be um, have a different operating voltage on it then. All right, let's pop the uh, battery out again. A bit hard to work on it when you're being dazzled by the uh, bright lights. Yeah, I think I'd have to sort of do a bit more research um, and have a look at what that that chip actually is, really, to understand quite how they're running this. I still don't fully understand the uh, the reasoning behind having two separate. Well, I, I mean, I guess the reasoning would be that you got, if they're stepping it down to three volts, then to minimise the amount of power having to be dropped by that resistor, keep the voltage coming into it low enough. So rather than trying to drop nine volts, you know, having nine volts in and, and, and trying to drop six volts across it, they can uh, just have the sort of four and a half and, and um, only be dropping about one and a half volts across the resistor, which will obviously result in uh, less wasted heat on that. So I'm guessing it is just a uh, purely a capacity thing of what they're doing there. Yeah. Interesting. But yeah, quite how that's working. I, I don't know that one. I don't think it is a um, a standard LED on on that particularly. Um, just have a look at the back of it. See if there's any varying in resistance on it. Hmm. 
Yeah, so at the minute I've got, if I tilt that down so it's getting slightly less light, getting 4.2k on that, and then if I get some more, you know, reasonable amount of light on it, sorry it's completely off camera, uh, sort of 800 ohms there, so it, it is acting just exactly the same as a a standard LDR would, so I'm guessing it is just an LDR just put in a much neater package. Uh, it's, you know, looks looks better. Um, I don't know if there's any other benefits to it over a conventional LDR or not. So there we are. So I hope you found that interesting. It's reasonably nice and light, reasonably well constructed. I shall um, have to pop it somewhere and see sort of how long the batteries uh, do last for on this. Depending obviously where you've got it and uh, how often you've got the thing actually turning on and off. So that's a little cap there, which way around does that go? Ah uh, yes, there's a little little indent on there. Yeah. So that can pop in, line up with that little cut out there. Pop our little lens back over the top. And then our three reflectors there. So it clips back reasonably well. It does rattle a little bit. And nothing to be overly concerned about, and that's just the uh, the reflectors just moving around because they don't have a brilliant uh, fit in there. Right, so anyway, that's a sort of quickish look at that light. So, different chip, that was uh, interesting, and that was the wrong way around. He says that and does it twice in a row. That's fine. And that one there. Not there. There we are. Well, if any of you guys have uh, purchased one of these and um, have been using it for a while, I mean, I've only been out the last week or so. But uh, yeah, let me know what you uh, what you guys think of them. Hope that video has been of some use. And anyway, it just shows you what this uh, light can do if you were. Uh, thinking of purchasing one. See you soon for the next video. Cheers. This is under the brand name of Alone Fire. I purchased this one on AliExpress. It's uh, $5.98 and uh, that